For this lesson, we're going to learn how to use paths with AI. We're first going to show how to interact with them with just an AI character, so he follows it. And then we're going to look at how we can make the AI enter a vehicle and then follow that path driving the vehicle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a navigation area. And with snapping on, I want to have my grid snapping as well. I can click, and let's make it pretty big because we're going to be driving a vehicle. It's very important that we also make sure that the affected agent types of characters and vehicle is enabled because we're going to be using both. Let's go ahead and go back and we're actually going to create our entity now. So if we go to AI characters human and double click, let's put them into the level. We can see immediately he's just walking around. If I middle mouse button click, he'll go exactly where I want him to. So now that this guy is in there, let's go ahead and create a flow graph, and we'll call this one path underscore FG. Let's go ahead and dock this onto the main stage, and let's go to it. So what we want to do is work with an AI sequence, and we'll do a start, and I always like to actually create a start node as well at the beginning. Let's go ahead and right click and assign the graph entity, and now what we want to do is move along a path. We want to do that with the graph entity as well, and it's going to be start. I'm going to make it running, and he's going to be alert because it makes it go by faster. And I already know that I want to do the path name toot path. Then I'm going to go to end, just so that we know we cleared it out and the whole chain has been done. We'll assign the graph entity, and let's go ahead and Get them a little bit closer. Debug is on. Let's go back to our main area and we're ready to draw the path out. So we go to AI path and just like before I'm going to click and it's a spline. And we can double click to end it. I need to, what did I call it again? A toot path. So I'm going to name this to toot path. I'm going to take my flow graph and rip it off and put it down in the bottom here so we can debug it. Debugging is already enabled, so if I press the play button, our character will want to go to the path. Sometimes you have to initialize the path by moving it just a little bit. But once you do that, as you can see, the character moves around and he will run to the path from wherever the point of origin is. Think about it. I put this to run and he's still running around. So be careful when you press walk because it will take a while for him to patrol. Let's go ahead and disable the physics and we're ready to move on to our next part, which is a vehicle. Let's go back and we'll go to entity and we'll go down to vehicles. I'm going to double click the Hummer vehicle, and I'm going to go down into my flow graph. I'm going to add an entity ID. So I'm going to do Q entity ID, and we're going to right click and assign the selected entity. So now we have the Hum V. This node inside of the AI sequence, which is the approach and enter vehicle, is what we want to have. And keep in mind, this is the graph entity we want to put in there. The ID of the vehicle is going to be the entity ID that we put in. The seat that we want is the driver. I'll click OK. And walk and relaxed is fine. It's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and remove the move along path. And we're going to stick this instead right at the beginning. And then we're going to put it to done at the end. This is the one part that actually deviates because now we're outside of the AI sequence. So if we come down to Vehicle, we can actually find Follow Path. And this is where we're going to do our path. So if I send the vehicle ID to the path, because the AI is in there, on Done, we can sync that and basically have it drive down the path. And if you remember, we named the path to Path. And I can basically put this under here because 
can sit as it is. Let's shrink it up and bring this down so we can debug and see what happens. So I'm going to click play again. We can see that the guy has now gotten into the vehicle. And we can see that the vehicle is now following a path, as it should. So this is a simple way in which you can make your AI work with the modular behavior tree in some areas, and then also get into a vehicle and follow a path. So there are different ways that the AI can move around. And keep in mind that AI path doesn't need a navigation area to truly cross between. So pathing can actually go from one section to the other, as long as the path goes from one nav mesh and goes at the end into another, so then the player can accurately look around and move around in a navigation area and it still be a valid mesh.